So let's give people some tips here, right? So one of the things we love to do is obviously we have an entrepreneurship group of listeners. And as I mentioned before, entrepreneurs aren't always good at listening to your body or putting yourself first. You're always taking care of your baby, which is the company. And so from your perspective, what are three things or a few things that you would for sure recommend all entrepreneurs make sure they do when it comes to their dental hygiene? Well, number one definitely will be flossing. And they should also, I mean, okay, the other obvious is they should be brushing and it does take two minutes to brush your teeth well, whether it's with a manual toothbrush or an electric toothbrush. And it seems like this is so trite. This is so, you know, like not necessary. Like they just say that, but actually it does take two minutes to brush your teeth well. The yeah. third is um, be mindful of your diet um, because what you put in your mouth is essentially what creates all that biofilm in your mouth. So, and then, I mean, this is, you know, more than just your oral health, it's for your overall health too. But having a, your, your diet is very like directly related to your oral microbiome and your gut microbiome and your, you know, how do you, yeah. Yeah. And I'd say like when you're trying to find product market fit, you're probably pretty stressed. Like there's definitely a phase when you're just starting your company, you're trying to figure out what is, what am I selling and who wants this? And that's really stressful. And I know personally when I was, when we were back in that phase, I just did a lot of like stress eating. So think of like eating graham crackers all day, sometimes even being so focused that I'd be too lazy to get up to get a glass of water. Mm -hmm. And I think you would just have to force yourself to do it. Like you're not going to want to get up and you're gonna wanna eat <laughs> to like reduce your stress and, and you're gonna wanna mope. But um, maybe yeah. ask a friend or a, a family member to help make sure that you are investing in some basic self-care. Like, you know, have a friend make sure that at five o'clock you drop everything you're doing and you go on a run or you drink a glass of water. Because I just, I, I know how invested entrepreneurs can get in things and it's very emotional. So, you know, it's easy enough to tell people like, oh, take time for yourself. But like, they're probably not gonna do it. Um, yeah. Or, yeah, but anyways, maybe have someone help check in on you to make sure that you are doing these things. I'm a big advocate for that. Just making sure that you get away from your workspace, making sure that you step away, clear your head, because oftentimes we can get so caught up in whatever we're doing that our brain doesn't really function the same way anymore until we leave, go for a run, like you said, and then you can come back and attack the problem with a new vigor. And I wanted to ask earlier, you talked about the 21 day floss challenge and I wondered if that was, that timeline was because that's around the time that, that I've always heard that uh, you can form a habit in. And so, you know, I can tie this into taking the time to self care and making sure that you're regimented about taking a step back. And that 21 days, if we can, if we can challenge everyone here to just 21 days in a row, floss and take some time and regiment your, your work schedule and exercise and all that stuff. I think we'll all be a little bit healthier and happier and more sound of mind and body afterwards. Yeah. And you, so one of the things that my dentist said is also diet. And I tried to press her. I was like, can you be more specific? And for some reason she wouldn't. And I, oh, I'm always like, maybe dentists don't feel comfortable giving guidance on food or don't want to seem partial, but you just mentioned diet also. And so it forces me to ask questions in terms of what specifically are you referencing? So to me, when you say eat well, is it avoid processed foods? Is it avoid sugars? Is it go plant-based? Just be more specific on diet is really important. What specific diet works best for, for people's teeth? Yeah, so um, definitely sugar is part of the, the biggest Culprit. ingredient in the, for the recipe to create a cavity or tooth decay. And it also helps create plaque in your mouth. So anything sugar, and a lot of our foods are sugar that we don't realize, right? So even like the cookies. Yeah, I mean, I guess those are maybe obvious, but the bread, and I eat bread, you know, it's like, it's important to have a balanced diet, um, mm -hmm. but the, the more processed things are, the more plaque forming they are. And also acidic foods, you know, they could be really good for your gut, but they also could be really bad for your mouth. So um, being mindful of acidic food intake and not, like for example, like let's say you're having like um, lemon water, right? Lemon water is good for your body, but if you slip it slowly throughout the day, you're actually just eroding your teeth. Um, so mm -hmm. that's dangerous. Actually, La Croix is super popular. Um, I feel like especially entrepreneurs, they love to just like sit at their desk all day and just like chug. Is it bad? 
Well, actually, yes, because the pH of LaCroix is actually pretty acidic, yeah. <laughs> I've been telling people for so long, I'm like, nothing this delicious can be good for you. I've been saying it forever. And all You're these about to tech break so many people's hearts. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Balance is super important. Yeah. So, I mean, it's the pH. So, actually, you know, I had some patients who were like, by the way, like my practice is in the heart of Silicon Valley. So most of my patients are, are entrepreneurs of some kind or, or work in a startup and that kind of thing. But you know, I have so many patients who will say like, oh, I switched from soda to like this hint water. Like hint water actually has a very low pH as well. It's just like flavored water, but it's um, enough to make you have cavities. So, um, or help incur like, yeah, increase your risk for tooth decay. But to get more into the diet, I actually have a really, really great book recommendation. <laughs> it's called The Dental yeah. Diet, and it's written by this Australian dentist named Dr. Stephen Lin. Um, he's on, active on Instagram and Facebook. He shares a ton of education stuff, but his whole book called The Dental Diet very, very specifically answers your question, Diego, about what is the diet to help make my mouth as healthy as possible. Um, and it's, it's you know, this, this thick, so I, I don't think I can tell you. I can just, it's more than I could just say, um, but worth the read. Yeah. yeah. And one thing that I found just really interesting since I, you know, got into the oral care space with my sister is just to realize that, you know, when you eat, you're feeding, what are you, what are you doing? You're essentially feeding a whole ecosystem of bacteria that lives in your mouth. So there are like hundreds of different types of species of bacteria that live in your mouth billions of bacteria overall. So just think like when you're eating that graham cracker, yeah, it'll feed you and your gut microbiome, but also your mouth microbiome. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.